Okay, today we are coming to you live from Veilmark, where Kazen Firefox or Phoenix Fire and uh, Ginny Phoenix Fire are going to be hosting the first in game game show. In about one minute, she's going to start ro rolling through the rules, and then we'll begin. Welcome everyone, to, and thank you for joining us in the very first Magic Sweeper game show here in New Britannia. This game is a mixture of a few different game show types. Today's show is sponsored by Who's Gaming Now, hosts and sponsors of AetherVision.net. In the boxes behind it, uh, Kazen, are mini items. Each chest is a chance to win big or go home broke. In the chest will either be tokens, each token worth 500 gold a piece, if you land on a chest with tokens, well by telling your score for prize dispersal at the end. Other tokens include a $5 Shroud of the Avatar gift coin, and other tokens stand for Water.org Cloak. This game supports Water.org. If you want to support water.org, you can always buy some items from the Shroud of the Avatar store. Currently, there are three items that part of the proceeds are going to be donated to water.org. That is a water.org cloak, a wishing well, and a rain shower emote. You can buy a package of all three items for $40 off the Shroud of the Avatar store. And finally, the last token is the book. If you land on the book, then a bonus trivia occurs. Each bonus trivia is put out to the crowd. The bonus trivia will be about Ultima, Ultima Online, and Shroud of the Avatar trivia. First one to answer correct gets the 5,000 gold bonus. But the person who chose the box still gets whatever tokens are there. You go round by round, starting left to right. Now here's the kicker: there are also gravestones. User joined your channel. If you land on a gravestone, you are out and lose the money and prizes you have built up. This is the first game show in game. There are currently nine participants. We've got room for one more. So where should I take up a seat? I am standing behind Jenny right now. 
So I am getting a look at the participants. Looks like Materio's probably, or Lump Dizzle's actually here. I wonder if he's going to participate. So far, the participants that we do have we have Gabriel Nightshadow, Shadow, Striker, Sparhawk, Amber Rain, Sophie, Materio, Galloan the Druid, 1 0, Magnarune, Sealith Rain, and one open slot. Will Lump Dizzle take it? So each round you must choose. Risk it all for more or go home with what you earned. So what each contestant will do each round is walk over the box they choose, which Ginny will open up and reveal its contents. Ginny is our very own Vanna White. And Lump has stepped up to the podium, so he is our 10th contestant. Now once again, this is a in-game version of Minesweeper. You end up with either getting coins, tokens, or you can get a gravestone. And if you get a gravestone, you are out of the game. Part of the proceeds for this game will be supporting water.org. This is the pre-alpha release of Shroud of the Avatar. Lump Dizzle is the first participant. And inside, what did Lump Dizzle get? You receive three tokens for 1,500 gold right off the bat. Very nice. Yes, it is. Next contestant to go onto the floor is going to be Sealith Rain. Oh, there was also a bonus trivia question in uh, that chest, so let's see who what the question is. So who do we have playing today? We have Gabriel the first, Shadow. Yes, the first question, and remember, first one with the correct answer wins the 5,000 gold bonus. After the question, we'll go ahead and do the uh, contestants again. Name the four provinces in the Novia continent. I know the answer to this one. I don't see anybody racing to beat the clock here. Yes, that might be a little, little issue. I, should I go ahead and spoil the, the answers? So the likelihood of one of the uh, participants watching this stream may not be that high. I, I would not. He's going to give us the answers, I assume. Here we go. First person chiming in. So Sophie's going with Midmere, Perennial Coast, Grunvald, and Drakvald.
And Sophie got the answer correct. Now, the answers for these questions are supposed to be shouted in local chat, so that way everybody can see in case something happens. Now, our participants in today's, we the first participant was Lump Dizzle. The second one is going to be Sealith Rain. The third one is Magna Rune, followed by 1-0, Galloin the Druid, Materio, our very own app developer, Sophie, Amber Rain, our favorite radio host, White uh, Striker Sparhawk, and Gabriel Nightshadow brings up the rear. So he's going to be the last participant today. Now Celeth is choosing her box. Let's hope it's a wise decision and she does not end up on a tombstone which would take her out of the game. Now unfortunately we don't get to look inside the box. We have to rely on Ginny Phoenix Fire in order to tell us what the contents are. Inside the box there was one token which is worth 500 gold. Remember inside the box you can end up with a variety of apps items representing either gold, your death, which is takes you out of the game, or also tokens for in-game cash uh, for Shroud of the Avatar, as well as the items from water.org. There's also the bonus item for the questions for everyone. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I see you're up in the back of the bleachers. Yeah, I'm doing a poll shot so we can get everybody in. I can actually see Kazan up there and his you know what he's saying and, yeah, and watch the contestants all at once. And watch me running around. I made myself right. invisible so you cannot see me. And Magnarune is choosing a box. He has two tokens and the $5 Shroud of the Avatar gift coin. So he has just won five real dollars to use on the Shroud of the Avatar store. That is awesome. Congratulations, Magna Rune. Now, this is quite the interesting concept they've got going on. I can see this being a hit. Yeah, so I, uh, Kazin was telling us earlier that there is approximately $100,000 or 100,000 gold uh, worth of items in here, as well as probably about 50 real dollars worth of, pro of prizes. Correct. Correct. One zero is our next contestant. Let's see, see where he goes. He has made his decision. Unfortunately, uh, Kazan wasn't able to join us in TeamSpeak. He's having too much fun figuring out what's going on with his wife, Jenny. And our first contestant to get a gravestone is 1-0. He is out of the game. He did not win any items so far, so he does not have anything to lose. So we have the first gravestone. And that is now eliminated him from the rest of the game, correct? That is correct. And he, if he had won prizes, he would have lost those as well. Thank you for playing 1-0. We're sad that you're gone. Now we have Galloan the Druid up next. And remember, 
players are actually given the option. They can either keep their winnings or they can go back in and try to take it all. I do not know exactly how many gravestones are in play. That would be nice to know. So Galloway's well, going. Sort of be a spoiler. Yeah, Galloway is going a little bit deeper into the uh, pile of boxes. So let's see what he comes up with. He found four tokens and a trivia challenge. So that is 2,000 gold and a trivia challenge. Remember, trivia challenges are worth 5,000 additional gold. It, it comes from Ultima Trivia, Ultima Online, and Shroud of the Avatar. So let's see what the question is. Remember, first person to answer the trivia question gets the money. What is the name of the stable boy in Owl's Head? Amber Rain shouted out Nod first, and then she followed, corrected her answer with Nod. Nob. And Nob is the correct answer. So Amber Rain gets that 5,000 gold. So Amber Rain ends up with 5,000 gold, and Galloway received 2,000 worth of gold. Materio is up, and he chose one in the front row. Now Materio is one of the local app developers. He designed the Shroud of the Avatar community app along with a few other people. This is an app where you can actually end up see the community events, chat on IRC, as well as listen to Avatars Radio. And unfortunately, Materio is our second contestant to find a gravestone, and he is out of the game. That, bummer. Yeah, that is a bummer. We have contestants crying. We got audience crying. They didn't want to see material go down like that. Yes, I mean, there's, what, a hundred boxes out there? I mean, a few of them are already gone, so what are his chances of dying so early? Now, Sophie goes with the box right next to him. Let's, let's hope that she doesn't meet the same fate. That would have been awfully mean. Oh, Sophie received four tokens, which is 2,000 gold. She gets to go back up to her podium and continue on with the game. Next, we have Amber Rain up, our favorite owner and runner of Avatars Radio. Avatarsradio.info. So that way you can listen to a live stream. All of the DJs are players in the game. It is supported by the community and it is actually a very open community radio station. Now Amber is out there in the field. Which box is she picking? It looked like she was struggling to jump on one, but she may have changed I her mind. That. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, she was purposely jumping on Matt's face. Oh. Uh, uh, that, uh, yeah, that, is, that is being a poor sport. But at the same time, this is a fun game, so it's it's worth it. Now let's see what's inside of this box. Remember, you've got multiple options. Hopefully she doesn't pull a gravestone. Amber receives five tokens, which is 2,500 gold and a trivia challenge. Remember, trivia challenges come from Ultima, Ultima Online, and Shroud of the Avatar. If the question involves Star Long, or Lord Blackthorn, or Darkstar, I am sure she's going to answer it first. <laughs> Amber, yeah, also, Amber also runs the Church of the Dark Star. First one to say in local chat, answer, gets 5,000 additional gold. What is the first place Novia seen in Blade of the Avatar? So you have to have read the Ooh, book written by Richard Garriott and Tracy Hickman. And the answer is not Al's head. It is not Solace Bridge. I don't believe it's Hilt either. I've read the book, but it's been about... Oh, it was Hilt, and Amber gets it. Amber is on a roll here today. Yes, she is. She's already collected, a, off the top of my head, I think, 12,500? Tw yeah, I was going to say 12,500. That's correct. Yeah. She is obviously in the lead right now. Still have two more contestants for the first round of play, and we've already killed off two players. Materio is still laying where he drew his gravestone, and 1-0 is also out. Time now for Striker Sparhawk. I met him at the uh, in Austin, and he's also kind of local to you, Laz. He's a nice guy. I enjoyed meeting him. <laughs> okay, Stryker has pulled his jumped on top of his chest. I hope he's gets something worth. He, he ended up with five tokens at its 2,500 gold. Congratulations, Stryker. Now, I also had a chance to meet Stryker. And yes, very, very nice guy. My circumstances weren't quite the same, but uh, just to speak for this community, he took... Uh, hour and a half plus drive to come visit me when I was laid up in the hospital just to come say hello and lift my spirits. That is awesome that community members will sacrifice for each other inside the game and outside. Amazing. Yes sir. Remember this is a community event. It is created by Kazen Phoenix Fire, Wrath Phoenix on the forums. He is also the leader of this the uh, stream and if initiative with the Aether Vision. And this event has over a hundred and thousand in game gold. About fifty dollars worth of real gold, including products from okay. the water.org. Um, I 
lost my word because Gabriel received two co tokens worth 1,000 gold. Now the water.org initiative is really brought to us by Rise Up Gaming, who is one of the stream teams that are hosting events. But Shrouded the Avatar decided to, and Portalarium decided to get in on the bandwagon, started selling some items that are worth uh, in-game rares, and uh, they are selling cloaks, wishing wells, and a new custom emote that causes a little rainstorm. And you can purchase those uh, off the Shroud of the Avatar store for $40. Or you can win one of those by participating in this event. So round one is over. I'd like to thank Kids and Phoenix Fire, as well as Rise Up Gaming for per throwing in some of the game tokens worth real money to buy things off the Shroud of the Avatar store. So last one standing gets the grand prize. So it is a gamble whether or not you're going to stay in the game or you're going to take what you have and just walk away. So let's see what they choose. I'm going to guess everybody's going to stay in at this point. Yes, Lump Dizzle is the first person up. He has currently 1,500 gold. Is he going to go for it or is he going to give it up? Uh oh, hopefully yeah, Lump Dizzle no, is an no AFK. So Lump Dizzle says bring on the gravestones, so he is going to play. He's going for that next box. And he gets right out. Here and picks the box. Yep. He knew exactly what he was looking for. So he's wiggling his booty on top of the box. Let's see what Jenny has to say. She's telling Kazen what's in the box. He gets four tokens. That's 2,000 gold and a trivia challenge. Let's see how well our participants know our Ultima, Ultima Online, and Shroud of the Avatar Trivia for 5,000 gold. What are the two names of the leaders of Ardoris? It is a husband and wife duo, and they do not like each other. Sorrento and Kasi. That is the answer from Gabriel Night Shadow. So Gabriel got it correct. One of our audience members wanted to participate and say it was Beavis and Butthead. Unfortunately, he is wrong. And Gabriel actually did write a place with about uh, the two leaders of Ardoris, so he definitely knew who those two were. User was moved to your channel. User was moved out of your channel. What happened there? Must be the boys upstairs. Yes. This must have been the midway point in jumping channels. So Celia Rain is going to continue playing, and she is choosing her box. Let's see what she wins.
Seelith finds one token that is worth 500 gold. And she lives for another round. Magnaroon's up next. Let's see how everything works. So, Magnaroon has $5 real life money, not game money. In credit store credit so far, he could walk away or he could keep it and keep going for the grand prize. What does he say? He is going to He's going big. So. Is yelling play. Yes. Although someone did, was inviting him to go home with a hot tub, which is five dollars in store credit, so he's going to risk it all and keep going. He also chose one in the front row. Okay, so obviously he chose something worth something. He found the hidden water.org cape. Very nice. That is extremely nice. And one token, so that's 500 gold, $5 in store credit, and let's see, what is that cape worth? That is that cape is actually worth fifteen dollars. Yes, that is a fifteen dollar cape. So he's already received twenty dollars of real life money, as well as five hundred in game gold. Twenty dollars in prizes. Yes, twenty dollars in prizes. As long as he lives through to the end of the game, he gets to keep it, or if he walks away. We are, they are not handing out real life money. Sorry. But the equivalent of. Yes. Uh, we don't want to mislead anybody. You could always sell it all for real life money. Well, that's another story in itself. Sir Galloway has 2K on the line. Is he going to keep it or keep on going? He is going to play on. He ended up with three tokens. So he's going to end up with five, fifteen hundred gold. I believe that brings him to a total of thirty-five hundred. I had to quit my torch so that way I can get a little bit more light on the situation. Well, where's your shiny new blue one? Well, the uh, traditional torch sh sheds more light, so and I didn't want to do the ball for more light because I didn't want that in the middle of my screen. Okay, Sophie's going on with her pick, so she's still remaining in the game. 
She has made her, oh, she has made her decision. She seems pretty excited about it. Hopefully it's something good. Two tokens worth fifty or er, one thousand gold. Next up is Amber Rain. Amber Rain's the only person here that's actively cheering and hoping that she lands on a gravestone. Will she get her wish in this game of Minesweeper? Win prizes or get the grave? Amber Rain. And she got what she was asking for. Yes, she did. She is out. So she lost her 12,500 gold. No prizes for her. Thanks for playing, Amber. And she plops herself on the ground here in front of the stands. Yep. It is Stryker's turn. The question is, is he going to keep his prizes or is he going to go home? Yeah. He's going big. Okay. Time for him to choose his box. Oh, he has gone all the way to the back corner. Let's see what he ends, ends up pulling. He ended up with four tokens. That's 2,000 gold. Awesome job there, Striker. You survived to another round. Almost down, done with round two. Next up is going to be Gabriel Night Shadow. Gabriel's going to go give it a shot. Let's see where he chooses. <laughs> he seems to know exactly what box he wants. Yes, he does. He went straight to it. Gabriel gets four tokens and a trivia question, so 2,000 gold, and the possibility for another 5,000 is up for everyone.
So the next question is an Ultima Culture question. Worth 5,000 gold. The word Smurfs in Ultima Online to refer to what group of people? They were the newbie GMs, weren't they? Um, the counselors were green, so they weren't Smurfs. They were Seers, or um, whatever low lowest form of game master was. Well, Sears was the first answer that was th tossed out, but that's wrong because uh, Stryker got it with, well, let's see, what's the next answer that he had? Counselors. Let's do counselor, okay. It was either counselors or Sears. Which one was it? The non-paid GMs. Those were the counselors. They ended up suing uh, Origin Systems. <laughs> there was did a they really? Yes, they did. Well, it's very we unfortunate. The next that, round. Yes, we did. We finished round two. It's on time for round three. Now, I'm not getting a great view up from here with the darkness, but that should change here again in a minute. Real question, who's going to win the grand prize today? Now, do we know what the grand prize is? It was said earlier, and it, it I believe it is out of my chat window. So I do not know. Is that a real question I just saw? I believe it was, and the answer lump ended up with one token, so 500 more gold. Has there ever been an in game event where people dance to what's being played on the Ether Vision? Or over Avatar's radio. What what do you think there, Laz? Apparently, he's must be new around here. It must be very new because I think that's a daily occurrence, multiple times a day. That's Seelith, why I was asking whether yeah. that was a real question. Yeah, Sealith is going for it, and he seems to know exactly where he wants to go. Well, maybe not. Well, she did struggle jumping up over the box, so. Let's see, what does she end up? Two tokens, so a thousand more gold for her. Another one's still alive. So far, we've got three people that have eaten gravestones, and they are out of the game. They lost all of their winnings. Let's see what what is Magnarun going to do. So far, he's got twenty dollars worth of game materials, five dollar coin, and a fifteen dollar cloak on the line. Is he going to stay in the game, or is he going to keep his prizes? Will his luck hold? I mean, the crowd right now is a little bit back and forth. I mean, some people are saying go for it. And, uh, oh, we do have the clarifying question. What is the grand prize?
So the grand prize is a $20 gift coin, which would double the equivalency, so that would be $40 of soda money. A $5 gift coin to use on the store, a $20 gift coin to use in the Shroud of the Avatar store, and the $15 cloak, so that's actually $45 worth of prizes that he would have win if he stays in the game and makes it through the end. Right now he is at $20 worth of game prize money. And Magnarune is going to accept what he has and he's going to go ahead and bow out. The five dollar gift coin away. and the water cloak. And Gowan just got three tokens. Congratulations, Gowan. That's worth 1,500 gold. 1,500 gold coins. Now on my stream, I'm going ahead and broadcasting what the uh, store looks like. As far as the Make a Difference Water.org charity, we have the $20 Wishing Well, the $15 Magic Cloak, the $10 Rain Emote that can all be purchased individually for $45, or you could buy the complete package for $15. And now Sophie's got to make that choice. Yes, Sophie's also doing well in the game so far. And Sophie's going for it. Yep, yes, she is. She's jumping all the way near the back row. She was on one and she changed her mind a yeah, little bit. She knew exactly where she wanted to go. Sophie ended up with three tokens for 1,500 gold. And three tokens for Sophie. 1,500 in coins. Been a while since we had a tombstone. The last one was Amber Rain, who actually was cheering that she would get the, the tombstone. Next up is Striker Sparhawk. Remember, if you pull a tombstone, you are out of the game. Now the $20 token that is the grand prize. And I guess we're going to find out whether Gabriel Knight Shadow is going to go for it here in a moment. Yes, we will. But the uh, $20 gift coin. Or it's now Striker Sparhawk next. Yes. The $20 gift coin that is the prize, the grand prize, was actually donated to this event by the Rise Up Gaming streamers. And for the record, uh, Lazarus was not speaking over me. I forgot to hit my button for TeamSpeak, so he did not hear me say anything. 
So strikers. Yeah, fine. I just didn't want any dead air out there. It's all good. Okay, strikers made his decision. He ended up with one token, as five hundred gold. And we still have a lot of competitors in the field. All right. Last round, uh, Gabriel Nightshadow did say that he wanted to join with Amber Rain in collecting a gravestone. So let's see whether or not he wants to stay in the game or if he wants to bow out early. Now will be his chance. Yeah, he, he looks is, like he's got fun. He is going to tempt fate once again. He wasn't showing a lot of certainty with which box he wanted. He went to the middle section and then he went all the way back out to one of the edges. Well, he's solidly planted on one now. Yes, he is. And inside the chest, we are going to have five tokens. 2,500 gold. Nice. Congratulations. We have made it through the second round. It is time for round three. Yeah, I'm just giving a shout out to Nick D76 in your channel. Yes, Nick is in my channel. He hasn't said anything though. I think he's just watching. Lump Dizzle's up yeah, next. We just he, like to let them know. Yes, he is actually going to go for it again. He is running to the exact chest that he wants. Lump Dizzle is also one of the streamers. Uh, you can follow his channel on twitch.tv slash lumpdizzle666. Ended up with three tokens worth 1,500 gold. Striker Sparhawk is uh, making a joke about we are all Jack the Lamplighter. And Jackknife is here as well. What is Seelith going to do? Is she going to stay in the game? She is going to go for it. I like it when everybody goes for it instead of bows out, even though if I was a certain someone who had received a $5 gift coin and a $15 water.org cloak for prizes already, I probably would have bowed out as well. So I do not begrudge a certain individual for winning those event, those items. I'm just sad it was not me. Yeah. I think I think that would be the call for most people. Oh yes, I that is twenty dollars. Oh, oh. Seelith Rain is out of the game. She just pulled a tombstone. That is unfortunate. I was wishing her well. I hate to see people pull tombstones. It's not as exciting as pulling money. So the field is down to one, two, three, four, five people. So half the half the participants are out already. Four pulled tombstones and one dropped out because he got a lot of money. And Galloway is going to go ahead and pull. He didn't even hesitate, didn't think about what was going on. 
and he runs up to a box. Let's see if he'll jump on top of it. We have Abydos in the channel now. How are you doing, Abydos? We're over here in Veilmark at the Magic Sweeper Game Show. Welcome, Abydos. Galloway just did win a thousand gold. So far, there are contestants that have actually pulled Tombstone. With uh, pull one was one zero, followed by Materio and Amber Rain. That is the order in which uh, tombstones were pulled, and I forgot one. Who was the fourth? Sealith Rain was the last one. But Sealith we, was the last one. Yes. We did have one person, that is Magna Rune, who pulled a $5 Shroud of the Avatar gift coin out of a box, as well as the $15 Water.org cloak out of a box as well. He went ahead and elected to bow out of the game instead of going for the $20 gift coin grand prize. Now let's Alrighty, see. Alrighty, so 10k yes. up for grabs here. She's yes, Sophie, going for it. Sophie is going for it. She has 10k so far. Go Sophie. Sophie is another one of our favorites around here. Always nice when she comes to visit. Oh, yes it is. She will occasionally join us in TeamSpeak. She just went three tokens with 1,500 gold. She gets to live for another round. Next up is Striker Sparhawk, one of the nicest guys in-game and out of game. I met him in Austin. Lazarus met him in Florida under different circumstances for both of us, but we are both glad to have met him. Ah, yes. Very, very nice gentleman. Just another one of those community members who, you know, goes above and beyond. And we have a lot of that here in our community. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, he's made his decision all the way up at the front corner. Striker gets two tokens and a thousand gold more to his pool. I'm glad he's still alive. I really think that I want to go for Striker Sparhawk to win just because he is such a nice guy. But that's my own personal bias. I should be objective. Now we have Gabriel Night Shadow. Now I have no idea what's in any of the boxes. Kazen was unable to join us in TeamSpeak to tell us what was going on. So we're flying by the seat of our pants. So is Gabriel going to stay in the game? He's got 11,000 on the line. Or is he going yes, to he bow is. out? And he's going he's for it. He's going to tempt fate once again, as he said. Mabidos he did say... He runs out. Yes, Abydos did say hail avatars. Everybody that's watching the streams, thank you for watching. Is Gabriel going to be... Oh, Gabriel is dead. He has pulled the tombstone. He Sense gets to... Fate. Yes, he gets to join Amber Rain. He has joined his beloved... Oh, Ravicus has joined us in the crowd. So round four is going to begin with four contestants. Lump Dizzle, Galloan, Sophie, and Striker Sparhawk.
grand prize today, remember, is a $20 gift coin from the Shroud of the Avatar store, provided by Rise Up Gaming, who's on Twitch, R-I-Z-E-G-A-M-I-N-G. -I, I'm sorry, I forgot up in there. Rise Up Gaming. So bad at me. All right, next round coming up. Lump's going to make the decision. Lump so is going to keep gamble. on playing. Yeah, he is. Good luck, Lump. Yesterday I did save Lump from the guillotine. With no help from me. I tried to pull the cord, but it didn't want to work. The So... Let's just say that Lump got three tokens and 1,500 gold. Looks like Galloway's already going to go. He didn't even hesitate. Just before the question was even asked, he runs out into the field and jumps on top of a crate. And going to say oh. the material again. Yes, he Galloway found a gravestone, so he loses all of his prize money. Ouch. Yes, we've got three people left. Sophie's up next. The end of this round is after Striker Sparhawk. So the water.org charity tries to actually provide clean drinking water in places where they cannot get it. Rise Up Gaming and Rise Up Stream is trying to raise money. They have a monthly stream where they stream for four days. Solid trying to raise money and donations for water.org. That begins in a few days, but before that, with the assistance of Shroud of the Avatar, we are helping them sponsor what's going on and trying to get clean water available for all. And Sophie ended up with three tokens, 1,500 more gold for her. She lives to make it around Sophie's five. Sophie's doing pretty good for herself. Oh, yes, she is. I wish I could make this my money this quickly. Let's see what strikers for. Yeah. My in-game piggy bank stuck at 3,500 gold. Three people left. Let's see. Striker's going Striker's for it. Striker's out there in the field. That's right. Let's see what he does. Two tokens and a thousand more gold for Striker. Got three great contestants so far. They have yet to pull a tombstone, which takes them out of the game. Only one person has bowed out of the game. Everybody else has found tombstones. We are going into round five. Now, I'm guessing it's possible that the last player can still pull a tombstone? Well, the last player wins it all, so it's last man standing. Now there is a, the grand prize book hidden in one of these chests. So let's at this stage of the game, we currently have Striker Sparhawk at 12,000 gold, Sophie at 13,000 gold and Lump Dizzle at 5 
1.5k. And Lump is going for it. Yeah, Lump has no choice, I think, at this stage of the game to go for it. He is far behind. He didn't hesitate. He jumped all the way across the remaining boxes and landed in front of one that has a tombstone. Let's see if he gets 5,000 gold. He promptly started dancing a jig on it. He got a token. So his wiggle, wiggle, wiggle is, is his good luck charm. So Lump now has 6,000, which is half of the other strikers pool so far. Or we could just say that's double the amount of gold that I have. Sophie doesn't even give him a verbal answer. She just jumps off the podium and right on up to the boxes. Looks like these three contestants are going to go all the way. Oh yeah, they want to win that, that grand prize. $20 credit in the Shroud of the Avatar store. Sophie gets to stay in the game. She earned one token for 500 gold and the ability to stay around for round six. And Dunnigan Jones shouts out in the audience, I wonder what level of in-game gold would ever be enough to not risk it for the $20 add-on. Well, this is pre-alpha, so I would say none. I mean, you could have a million Pretty gold, and, and it, it will get wiped at some point in time. I mean, pre-alpha, not even alpha, not even beta. That's right. So no matter what I had, unless it was real life money of some sort, I would keep on going. And this is release 17 of Shroud of the Avatar. We have release 18 in one week and four days. Striker ended up with another two tokens, so another thousand gold. Alright, we're going back to Lump. Yes, it is. The game's going to be a little bit faster paced with just three contestants. Until we get to a trivia question, then things might start to slow down. Yeah, there's been a couple of good stumpers out there. Yeah. Our Amber Rain, I think, is probably the one that would answer, be able to answer almost all of the trivia with no problem. And she was one of the first ones to pull a tombstone. But she went into that round saying, I want a tombstone. Uh-oh. We oh, have a no. dam from Kazan. So that, that means that Lump is... Oh! Oh, oh he oh, pulled surprise. our legs. That is five tokens for 2,500 gold. So Lump went from B all the way in back of the... Pro gold pool and straight to the lead I think uh, yeah and Sophie's Kazin got us as well yeah. as the audience yes he one. did uh, let's just say Sophie didn't even wait for Kazan to actually say anything she went ahead and got out there and jumped on top of her box she ended up with two tokens Another thousand gold to her pot. And, and trivia. trivia. Sweet. I love trivia questions. Remember, trivia questions are from the Ultima universe, the Ultima Online, as well as Shroud of the Avatar. And there are nine games in Ultima, so maybe it's going to be a question about Ultima 2. And uh, let's go through the space travel. And what's the question? Chasm taking his time with a question here. 
Just gotta type it out. What are the names of two major bay areas on Novia? Well, one of them is where the Britannian Mining Company wants to put their town. I know that much. So that's the Bay of Storms. And Striker Sparhawk got it with Spindrift Bay as the other one. On the map them itself, those are the only two named bays. So Stryker just got 5,000 gold for answering that question. And to answer one of the audience's questions out there, they wanted to know if this uh, event was going to run the full hours, full two hours allotted. And Kazan, of course, clarified that when the game is over, it's over. We will yes. not prolong it to go any further than necessary. So Striker Sparhawk currently has 18,000 gold. He's running out there one more time. Yes, he is. And Striker gets two tokens, so a thousand more gold, so he's currently at 19,000 gold. And that brings us to the conclusion of that round. It's time for round, is this round six now? You know, the, after the first several I've lost track, to be honest with you. With these three contestants, I'm expecting the next few rounds to blow by really quick as well. Oh yes, it will. Although, is Lump waiting to be called upon, or is he... Yes, it is. And Lump is going to go for it. He received one token, so 500 more gold. And Valen Enigma actually just made the astute observation that every single month with a new release, that they are making significant progress in-game. Yes, uh, the exceptional amount of progress that gets done on a month-by-month -month basis is astounding. Yes. And again, I, the, every once in a while they break a couple things as well and they fix them. But oh that's yeah. just the uh, price of progress. Yes, it is. And remember, this game is pre-alpha. Most developers don't allow you access to pre-alpha games. Sophie ended up with two more tokens and a thousand gold. And Stryker is also not really hesitating, and he's going to go ahead and go in. He also ended up with two tokens and another thousand gold. I'd say that we need some more trivia in here. All luck at a draw. Yes, it is. So Striker currently has 20,000 gold. I think Lump Dizzle is probably around 13 or 14,000. And Sophie's probably 15,000 if, if, if my numbers are anywhere near correct. But that's just a running tally in my head. 
So Lump Dizzle is going to jump in and sally forth. Wearing his dyed black epic armor. Ended up with 1500 gold, increasing his total. And this event, remember Magic Sweeper, is brought to us by Kazen and Jenny Phoenix Fire of the Phoenix Republic. The grand prize, the $20 gift coin, is, go is actually given, t donated to them by Rise Up Gaming, who are some of the premier streamers of Shroud of the Avatar. This is Cynicist. In game, I am Jack Frost from NBNN. We also have Lazarus Long, also of NBNN, here today broadcasting this stream. Hello, hello, hello. You can watch both our streams live on nbnn.info. Slash live. And Sophie just ended up with four tokens, so that's 2,000 gold. I don't know. I like all three players here, Jack. Hard, hard to pick yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Hard to pick one. And we've got Troy joining us on the stream today. Glad you could join us, Troy. Welcome to the stream. And strike, right, Striker bowed one. out. I can't believe that. He bowed out. 20,000 gold. Okay. We're down to two. Two left. Lump Dizzle's not worried. Man. He's going. He's going to go. Go ahead and go back in. Well, while he quotes Queen, as he runs up to his box. Three tokens for Lump. Another fifteen hundred. Yes, it is. So we've got Lump and Sophie. Lump and Sophie. And is Sophie going to stick for it? I hope she does. Oh, I do too. I hate to see somebody bow down at this point. Yes, and I'd like to see them get it, get the remaining boxes down to like say five or six before someone actually ends up pulling a gravestone. Now, Lump Dizzle is actually rather interesting. He actually came into the game as a streamer, he, so this was not one of his games of choice. And so he ended up given the option to stream the game, and so that's what brought him in, and he's decided to stay, and he's made this his game of choice for now. And he yes, even knows that it is pre-alpha. I mean, that's insane. He, he, he got hooked right away. Oh yeah, it's all about the community for these guys. Sophie won another thousand coins in that pick. Yes, That's for everybody who's keeping score. And Lump's out on his box. Let's find out what happens to Lump. Two tokens and trivia. Now I definitely have to give the trivia at this point of the game more in Sophie's favor than Lump's. 
Unless, actually, Lump may have been studying up. It is possible. I don't know if he played any of the Ultimas or Ultima Online, but he may have. Dunnigan Jones actually does have an interesting question. If the grand prize remains unfound, does it roll over? And the grand prize is for the last man standing. Yes, you know, I was I thought that it might be possible for the last person standing to actually pick a box and get wiped out. So Name four creatures summonable via magic in Shroud of the Avatar. Now, does that... I think I could answer that. The real question is, does that include, say, the skeleton and the lich? Even That's though they're cool both defense. undead? And Soph Sophie went ahead and answered with Phoenix, Air Elemental, Lich, and Earth Elemental. So I guess the undead did count, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it was, it, the, the kicker was via magic. Yes. So Sophie's now at 23,500 gold. Is Lump going to go on? It is a new round. Lump says he can't stop now. He's going to charge in. In once more into the breach. Ooh, another 500 gold. Good, good, good. Yeah, definitely can't give up now because you can't give up that grand prize when it's only two men. Or man and a woman. Yeah, bowing out now and just giving it to your competitor. I don't know if that's sportsman or not, but hey, you can't do it at this point. You gotta go for it. Gotta go for it. And Sophie is hesitating on her choice, so she's really looking at the field. She's made her decision. Let's see. Two tokens, thousand gold. Keep Sophie alive. One more round. Yes. Now, see, there was the question I would have had. Which was a very good question. If Lump goes out, does she have to pick to win? Nope. The answer is you walk away, now you're giving the $20 to the competitor. I don't know how I just got kicked off of my stand. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And let's see. Two tokens. For lumps, so another thousand gold. Neither one of these guys should actually give up at this stage of the game. Remember, this is the Phoenix Fire family's uh, mind sweeper or magic sweeper game, where you can either pull a tombstone out of a chest or tokens for gold, tokens for trivia, 
a book for grand prize, even a water cloak. The water cloak is a $15 value. It was actually pulled earlier in the game by Magnaroon, and he also pulled a $5 gift store token, and he bowed out early. So Sophie Four just tokens for Sophie. Yes, Sophie just got two thousand more gold. Okay, let's see, let's see. Lump's going to the Sophie side of the game of the board. He's zigzagging over the boxes. That's absolutely right. It gets, it gets more, more tense, tense with every pick. Oh, well, there's more a greater chance for a tombstone. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Not a cliffhanger anymore. We have a victor. It's going to be Sophie. Sophie wins it. Congratulations to Sophie for being victorious in this. The first ever game show inside of Shroud of the Avatar with Magic Sweeper brought to us by Kazen Phoenix Fire and Ginny Phoenix Fire. So does she walk away with the $20 plus the 23k plus in gold? Yes, she does. Very nice. Yes, thanks all the participants. Everybody, I hope, had fun watching this. And, uh, I know we had fun broadcasting it. Kazen does want to thank us at NBNN for being here, as well as the radio for getting the word out. Thank you for Who's Gaming Now for sponsoring today's prizes the water.org cloak, as well as the $20 Shroud of the Avatar gift coin. Oops, and I've been saying Rise Up Gaming. That is uh, a time for a mea culpa. Alrighty, well that was uh, quite the interesting game show, and we're going to look forward to doing more of this. I do oh, yes. hope that it catches on. As this was definitely a very fun experience. And with that, Laz is going to sign off here. And so is Jack we Frost. We'll be uh, back up for another event here. Uh, awesome. We'll discuss that event here coming up. Yes, we will. In the meantime, we're going to take a break for about a half hour. And we will return again shortly. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Cynicist on Twitch and YouTube, Jack Frost in Game, signing out.